Hello everyone, my name is Rami Suhail and today we're gonna showcase how to force sync the changes from Azure AD Connect to Office 365 in order to provide the ability to manage users directly from Active Directory now this is the tool, it's already installed in the server, it's already configured everything now this tool works or syncs the new changes every 30 minutes okay okay so now we're going to open PowerShell and we're gonna check the default setting for the Azure AD Connect we're gonna press get dash AD sync scheduler of course in order for us to complete the command we can press tab on the keyboard which will help us in completing the command we can press enter and check the settings wait a little bit okay okay here it is now allow sync cycle interval is every 30 minutes it means it happens every 30 minutes by default now we need to force sync it right now now before we do that we need to check when the last sync happened in the synchronization service okay we're gonna open synchronization service just minimize here and we're gonna check make sure it's ordered by the latest and 7.30 p.m. it means it happened 70 minutes ago the sync happened automatically now I need to wait 30 minutes in order for it to happen again but I don't want to wait I want to just force to sync it okay so let's check it out I'm gonna minimize this and go here so we're gonna write start just one second start dash ad sync sync cycle and then space dash we're gonna define the policy type now what does this mean? I'm gonna explain policy type we have two policy types we have delta and we have initial now what is the difference between both okay okay so delta means partial sync and initial stands for full sync partial sync or delta sync is mostly used when you edit a user attributes let's say you edited his email address his name or his phone number or any any of his attributes now you need to use delta sync but if you added a new user or you added a new organization unit an o, a new OU in the active directory delta sync might not be enough you need to use initial now initial takes longer time now for the sake of this example I'm gonna use just delta here and gonna hit enter select enter and the command should be working now to make sure it's working let's check out it here it's refreshing it's gonna need a couple of minutes or seconds okay here it is as you can see in progress 813 this is uh, now it will need two to three minutes in order to finish but okay okay in progress now it's finishing up <coughs> administer what changes were done in this sync you can check them out here ads and updates and deletes now nothing changed in my case but in your case it should be different you're gonna see press here and see what user new users have been added or updated here also okay so you can see each user and what features updates were changed also now I'm gonna show you an important another important feature here let's say you want to add a new organization unit to be distinct from the active directory so we're gonna double click here and go to configure directory partitions and we're gonna go to containers the administrator password just write it here and hit enter and here you can choose which OUs should be synced you'll choose this one for example this one this one you can change after you change save your changes press ok and ok then you'll go to the sync tool and what you're gonna do here is use the initial sync of course initial sorry initial and hit enter the changes will be displayed here of course and now you're good to go 
Now this mostly shows you the most important features of how to administer. Okay. It's working now. It's working. Perfect. Now I wanted to show you a final feature here. Okay, as you can see, the sync has changed the initial. Now I'm gonna showcase how we can change the 30 minutes default to something else. I'm gonna go set dash edit sync. No, press tab tab and go to scheduler. Then go to customized sync. Sorry. Customize sync interval and we're gonna press the time. Let's say we're gonna say something like this. You know? This means every two hours the sync will occur, or maybe one hour and ten minutes, maybe thirty minutes, forty minutes, fifty minutes, six minutes. Just press enter then the sync scheduler default time. Okay, so we're going to choose fifty minutes and hit enter. You need to wait a little bit. Now let's do get dash ad sync scheduler sync and hit enter. As you can see the next cycle is set to 50 minutes it has changed the current cycle was 30 and it changed to 50 okay so that's it for today we showcased the most important features needed in order to administer Azure AD Connect tool in Office 365 thank you all for watching and have a nice day